Good day, participants. So this video is in response to a request for how to use Pixton. Now, we touched on Pixton in our workshop. So I'm going to do a little refresh, create a small little cartoon, and then insert it into a note. So we'll start with our Google page, and it's the same if you're on Bing or Yahoo. We'll type Pixton, P-I-X-T-O-N, and it brings it up. Pixton Comics, make a comic storyboard. If you haven't signed up, you can click to sign up. Select, if you're an educator, and you can try Pixton. Put in your details, get started, and do it from a individual's point of view. If you have already registered, which I think most of us did during the workshop, log in, log in, username, password. So here we are. I'm going to create a little cartoon, my comics, click on this pen here, and then I'm going to click create new. And you have a variety here, so you can practice and play with them. Now, Pixton is free to use, and of course then there is a premium version which is full of more features and gives you a few more things that you can do. But for the most part, using it free should be fine. So comic strip, let's try a simple comic strip, I click select. And let's, just for the purpose here, please practice on both accounts. But let's try basic. And I have a series of backgrounds. So Pixton is a cartoon that will allow me to maybe have two characters or more in a conversation. So it's a nice way of conveying a set of concepts or um, explaining a topic. And of course, you can have as many cartoons as you wish, as many strips as you wish. So let's pick... Uh, let's pick this Africa and let's pick uh, something to do with farming. Let's pick these here. I can select my characters, one or two. You can create your own characters or you can use from their stock. So I'll pick this one and I'll pick this one. It then loads up my scene. Here's the time, here's my scene. So I need to enter a title. So here we have two persons. I can click to drag the individual, and click to drag this individual. And their comic strip at the top is also visible. So I click in it, click. And this is just very brief, so I'm gonna go, are we there yet? And we can have one here saying, not too far. The soil is very soft. And then if I want to add another one, I click add pain. Please wait. And it will allow me to add a new pain. And in that classic sense, my feet hurt. And then we can have one here, um, our last one. This soil is good for farming. Here we go. So you can obviously go on, you're at liberty to um, add a character, add a background, and of course you can undo and save. So I'll save mine there can save for later, you can download. So if I click download here, what happens? So I have a trial. So Pixton members only can download. So if you wish to download, then we can request from Pixton a set of um, basic accounts which you can all have, and then some. we can upgrade you to these monthly accounts. And we'll cover the cost, and you can create some animations. But you don't need to download specifically. Download will allow you to download it and insert it on the platform. 
If we close and instead we click publish, publish, I put in my title, walking. And now I can link this to perhaps a previous comic that I did. So throughout your resources, you can have a theme running through them where you can have a set of characters that you use regularly and they are in different scenes. So maybe you could link it um, to a previous scene. So display options, display cast of characters, display as a slideshow. It's up to you to decide. Have a look, have a play. Tags. This is for education, so we'll tag education. Sharing. Allow others to remix this. So if somebody sees my comic strip, maybe they can update it if they wish. That is fine. I don't have a problem with that. And then the audience. You set the age. So mine is for all ages. It's innocent. It's young. If you're going to use more... Um, stringent concepts or perhaps profanity etc then that's where you set the age okay and then I click publish now so what happens here is walking by notes master here we are here we are now I have these all along my page so I can publish to Facebook to Twitter can email to someone I can embed. Now, hopefully you remember the term embed from our workshop. I can remix, print it, download it, as we've seen is for paid accounts. I can edit and my settings. So what I'm going to do is click embed. Okay, so this is the embed code. Now, let us go to Notes Master. Here is my workspace agriculture topics and let's pick we talked about soils didn't we let's pick soils and I'll just pick one at random here add new content and I'll just call this a Pixton demo Pixton demo there we go click create so my page loads up as you can see it's personal so I'll create a template here for it in my notes template insert my template and we're using our Vanuatu OER template here we are okay so my page opens up and of course I would put my title in here now the purpose of this template is for you to use as much or as little of it as possible so maybe I introduce my concept, which could be all about soils and, 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 and soil structure. So I would put my introduction there. I would have, as usual, our little call to action so that there is a, a reminder so that the student can put into context the way this note is. So if we're talking about soils, we could relate. Think about the soils in your garden. Think about the soils in the park. Think about the soils in the street. Anywhere. So the student has an idea and can make this note then immediately relevant to them. And then we explain the concept a little more. And below we have obviously space for a video and a host of other things. If we don't want any of this, click on the table so that the borders have the little squares, show it's highlighted. Delete the table. We do that again here. Delete the table. We have a link if we wish. And we can then just highlight all of this and delete. So we would have our introduction, our explanation. Take a look at this comic strip. Perhaps I'll put something like that in there. So I leave the cursor where I want it to go here. I'm going to go back to Pixton. And I'm going to click on that so it highlights. Right click, copy, go back to my Notes Master page. The cursor is where my cartoon is going to go. Click Insert Edit, click on Embed, and right click to paste. 
So it's just the same as with SlideShare or Prezi. And I click OK. So my cartoon strip opens up something like this. Don't worry if it doesn't go all the way across the page. If you play it, it'll look like that. Click on it, it should open up in itself. If it doesn't, because of various dimensions, don't worry. If you see something like this, just press Escape and the screen will come back to you. You could possibly expand that way, and again, you might have this issue. Don't worry once again. So here it is in this little rectangle. Let us click Save. Now, what happens is, because this is the basic version and you haven't had to pay for it, there's the little Pixton branding here. So once you see it like this on your page, you can click Preview. And in clicking Preview, just to show you here, this Preview button, click Preview. You see it now looks more full screen across your page. So don't worry about it not opening up. That's just a limitation of the Pixton program. Don't worry about that in this editing environment. So we can see it looks fine, we like it, we close. So that's how it will look across this section. Click Save. Here we go, Save. And then I close my note. Close. Once you've closed your note, it's always a nice idea to open it again to make sure it's nicely organized and looks as you expect it. Because sometimes things may move around between the viewer and the editor. So let's click on it, Pixton Demo, and here's our Pixton. The title is Walking, so here's our title, and here's our frame. So we have our item here, if we click on it, again the full screen doesn't come to pass for us, so don't worry too much about that. Pixton's logo is displayed, and it gives the user the option if they were to click it, it takes them to Pixton. So this is what happens with the basic version. It takes you to the site so you can have a look. But everything is available here for you. So this is, suffice to say, a pretty good way of using your Pixton animation. To click off the note, if you click on it again, it just pops up and opens. It loads up a little bit here. Okay? So that's a nice way of using Pixton in this way. If you want more features, and you're going to use Pixton quite heavily in your material, just let us know and we'll set you up with a premium account so you can download and insert with a few more features as opposed to the free version. But have a play. If you like it, um, practice using it and we'll take it from there. Okay, so this is a Pixton demo based on the Pixton website and you can go back and forth again and again and this is Pixton loading up to give you a preview so that's how it looks okay thanks for watching and remember to just practice with creating characters and picking different settings and backgrounds that uh, engage your learners thanks